What's going on guys? I'm Mike, living with 3M Auto Vlogging. We are gonna do something a little different today. As you'll notice, I don't have the wife's Toyota Limited in the driveway. I've got my good buddy Brad's Toyota and we're gonna be putting some Raptor lights on and you know how we like the Raptor lights. Toyotas, the four runners in particular, look great with the grill lights that are like the Raptor style. Love them, man. Y'all stick around. It's a balmy 38 degrees out here and I'm in a t-shirt and shorts. Hey, are you getting out and help me? Or are you just gonna sit in here all day? Brad ain't gonna like it you being in his forerunner. Man, I had to go in and get me a hoodie on. It is freezing out here. Okay, so Brad brought me the kit and I like this kit. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get yours. Uh, because it's got its own fuse tap, wiring, everything you need to complete this installation. Let's get it. So I think we need to take this off first. What do you think? Hell, yeah, man, tell me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to mount the lights in the grill, but you will need access behind the grill. No tools needed to remove the plastic guard. So we're going to push everyone hear them popping that is cool all right so now careful because they will pop out they are loose take put them in your pocket or in a tray All right, so we're gonna remove our lights and they're individually wrapped. Lay this up here. I'll show you how we're gonna put those in. All right, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this one, you're gonna thread that through there. Carefully because these are plastic tabs on here that actually hold this in. We're gonna clip it in just like that. They only go in one way. They only mount or click in one way. I like that. All right, there's that one. Second one. third one by the fourth one you'll be getting pretty used to how they go to you just like that so now we've ran that wire instead of running over top of this there's access under here where the headlight is you guys can see i'm right there we're gonna make our connections just right beyond this point right here there's ground Good place for a ground. It already comes with a terminal that should just slide in behind it when we loosen it. And we're gonna use the fuse tap right here in the fuse box. All right, so we're gonna connect the ground first. So I got a uh, 10 millimeter. You can use an open end wrench, adjustable, whatever you want to. I've got a deep well socket, don't have to have. All right, so I'm just gonna loosen this enough. You don't wanna remove it all the way because it's a spade connector. All right, so let's connect that ground. Just like that. Wire 
wire is connected. Okay, so now for the positive accessory 12 volts. So you, you don't want it to stay on all the time. You're gonna look inside your fuse box right here. and we're going to use a voltmeter and also google is your friend owner's manual to tell which fuse that will be safe to tap into all right it says ignition is on okay so we're going right back and if we get 12 volts then this will be the one we want okay so ground it again go right back to that fuse look at that you guys are like, what does that say? That's 11.93, so I already know, but 12 volts, basically. Okay, so when you're looking from the driver's side inward and you remove the cover, it's gonna be this one right here on this raised lip. These are recessed down in here, but it's gonna be this one right here, the top one. Just look at it and look for the 20 in the middle of all of them. And it's gonna be the second one above that one. All right, so inside your lid is gonna be a little fuse puller. I'd never recommend grabbing these fuses with needle nose pliers because that's metal. We're gonna reach in here, grab that fuse, pull him up just like that. All right, you guys will notice We've got the fuse tap right here. It's already got 10 amp fuses in it. So we can save this one as a spare. And we're just gonna take and plug that in to that exact outlet I just pulled that out of. All right, and also I'm gonna tell you, um, if you don't have this kit that I have, you may have to do a buck connector from your wire to this wire positive to positive and this goes in the fuse tab but what's neat about this company they've already sent this little slide terminal that i twist these wires together and slide this over it and then i can crimp with my crimpers right there so it's a supplied slide buck connector sort of so we'll get that connected Okay, so we've got all our wire run, fuse box. You may have to make a, uh, a alteration to the lid to get it to close because I did realize it was up just a little bit higher, but it was just a few minutes, no problem. All right, we've got our wire zip tied to where I need it to be. All right, so now we're gonna put our cover back on all right so you sit set this back up there the way you want it put these clips back in Got that back on so you got fuse box connection ground put this back on there's your lights you can't even see anything you can't tell there's lights there until What do you think about that, man? Man, can't wait for spring. All right, let's go take his car back to Brad. Let's get a couple shots of it in the meantime. Y'all subscribe to the channel. Check it out. Show me that thumbs up. Your boy really appreciates it.
Catch you on the next one. Later now.